Good morning students. How are you all? I am Shweta and welcome to the maths class of standard 3. Today I am going to teach you chapter number 3 that is subtraction and this is video number 3 of this chapter. So yesterday in the last video I have already taught you how to subtract the numbers with borrowing. Okay. In this video we will learn the different properties of the subtraction. Okay. We have to always remember that there are some properties of subtraction. So, in this video, we are going to look for them. Okay. In this video, I am going to describe about the four different properties of subtraction. So, let us start with the first property. Okay. What I have written here in the first property, when a number is subtracted from itself. Okay. The difference is 0. Difference means what? Difference is the result. Okay. That we get after the subtraction of two different numbers. Suppose I have 50 chocolates and I have to remove. I have to give 10 chocolates to someone. Okay. Then how many chocolates I am left with? 0 minus 0 is 0 and 5 minus 1 is 4. So, there are 40 chocolates with me. Okay. Now, so this 40 chocolates is what? Is the difference. Is the difference. Okay. So, what I was telling here, when a number is subtracted from itself. Now, here I have subtracted 10 from 50. But, what here written? We have to subtract the number from the number itself. Means if I have 50 chocolates, I have to give this 50 chocolates to someone else. Not a part of this chocolate. I have to give the whole chocolate, whole, whole collection of the chocolate to someone else. Means I am subtracting this 50 from 50. So here I am subtracting the number from the number itself. Okay, this 50 from 50 itself. I am subtracting here. I have given the minus sign. Now, 0 minus 0, 0 and 5 minus 5, 0. So, here you can see that whenever we will subtract the number from the number itself, we will always get the difference as 0. This is the difference and the difference will be always 0. Let me give you an, another example. Suppose I have 25 pencils with me. Okay. How many pencils are there with me? 25 pencils. Okay. And a boy came to me and told that please give me 25 pencils. I have 25 pencils. And how many pencils did he want? 25 pencils. Okay. So what I have to do? I have to subtract the number from the number itself. The whole, the both the numbers are same. So here I have to subtract the 25 number from 25 number itself. Okay. So if after that subtraction, what we will get the, as a difference? 5 minus 5, 0. 2 minus 2, 0. So, how many pencils are left with me? 0. So, as I have given you here two examples in which I have shown you that if we will subtract the number from the number itself. If both the number, the subtraction numbers are same, means here we have to subtract the numbers from the number itself, then we always will get 0 as the difference, as the result. Okay. Now, the second property. Okay. What it is written here? When the number is subtracted from 0, I have 25 pencils. Okay. How many pencils do I have? 25 pencils. Okay. And I have to subtract. Subtract means what? To remove or to give away. Okay. So, 
I have to subtract how many numbers of pencil? Zero. I have to give zero to someone. Means I don't have to give anything. So here I am subtracting zero. Okay. So if the number is subtracted from zero. This is the number 25. And it is being subtracted by zero number. Okay. So after that what we will get as the difference? The number itself. 5 minus 0. 5 and 2. 25. So here you can see the difference and the numbers are same. Okay. If we will subtract the number from the number 0. Okay. Means I have 25 pencils and I have to give 0 pencils. So, how many pencils are left with me? I have 25. I don't have to give any pencils to anyone. Then 25 pencils are left with me. So, if the number is subtracted from 0, the difference is always the number itself. And if the number is subtracted from itself, the difference is always 0. Hope you have understood these two properties. You have to just pause this video. And write these properties with these two examples also in your maths copy. Okay. Now the third properties of subtraction is the order of numbers is very important. In addition we already have seen that the order of the numbers is not very important. Means if we have 2 plus 3 means if we have to add this 2 to 3, then we will get 5. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. If we will change the order 3 plus 2, then also we will get the answer as 5. Okay. So, in the addition, the order of the numbers are not very important. We can put any number at any place. But in subtraction, the order of numbers is very important. Like we can, if we can put minus sign in, in the place of plus sign, then is this possible that I am having two pencils and I will give three pencils to someone? Is this possible? No, not at all possible. But if I have three pencils, then I can definitely give two pencils to anyone. So, here in the subtraction, the order of the number is very important. Here we will get the answer as 1, but here we will not get the answer as 1. Okay. So, the third property of the subtraction is the order of numbers is very important. We cannot put any number at any place. First of all, we have to write the bigger number and after that, we have to write the smaller number. Okay. On changing the order of numbers, the result will get changed. Here in the addition, 2 plus 3, we got 5 as answer. 3 plus 2, again we got 5 as answer. Mean in the both condition, we got 5 answer. But if we will change the order in subtraction, then we will not get the same result. Okay. Now the fourth property is subtraction of greater number from a smaller number is not possible. Greater number means suppose I have taken 20 and 25. Two numbers. Okay. So which one is greater and which one is smaller? Tell 25 is greater and 20 is smaller. So it is written here subtraction of greater number. Subtraction of this number, 25 number from 20 number is not possible. If I have only 20 number of chocolates, then I cannot subtract, I cannot give 25 chocolates to other person. Okay. So, these are the four properties that you have to remember in the subtraction. Hopefully, you all have understood these properties very well. Pause this video and write again these two properties 